Hi, and welcome to Around the Cloak, your monthly video update on progress and developments from the Cloakcoin team. I'm Joshua, the global spokesperson and Australian coordinator for Cloak. And in this episode, I'm coming to you from beautiful Munich in Germany, just in time for Oktoberfest. Uh, there's plenty of news to share, so let's jump right in. The Cloakcoin wallet version 2.2.1.0, entitled Revolution, is now available for Linux and Windows. This release is to address minor bug fixes and is currently in public beta. The Mac and Raspberry Pi updates will be available soon, so make sure you keep your wallets up to date. Now the Dev Fund has been our major priority for some time, and we are continuing to work hard on its completion. The governance model and voting system are still under development, and it's very exciting to see the progress. The program will allow us to expand our development team and really ramp up the release of new features and improvements to our products. And I assure you the Dev Fund continues to be our main focus. But as with all new technologies, extensive research and testing is required to ensure the highest quality code. DeepEnd will create a branch on GitHub soon for the Dev Fund to show everyone how much effort he has put in. We are proud to announce that Cloakcoin is now listed on Netcoins, allowing users to purchase Cloak with Fiat at over 21,000 retail locations across Australia, Europe and Canada. Netcoins also allows users to sell Cloak uh, for Fiat via their over-the-counter trading desks. We broke this news on Nasdaq.com and see this as a big leap towards mass adoption. At Cloakcoin, we receive many requests each week from exchanges wanting to list our coin, but as an established project with over four years in the market, we are very careful and selective to make sure we only work with the best quality and highest performing exchanges. Netcoins is also pleased to announce that it has signed a definitive agreement with a global voucher partner, which will expand the Netcoins outreach to over 171,000 retail locations in over 65 countries across six continents. Wardrona BV is an XL service provider from the Netherlands and it now accepts Cloakcoin payments. Uh, the clientele of Wardrona are Acmea, Thermo Fisher, New Ways Industrial Systems, VDL and Vanderland Industries. These are all big companies in finance and technology from the Netherlands. And as some of you may already know, I was very fortunate to attend the Coins Bank uh, blockchain cruise around the Mediterranean. This was across five days and four nights where I worked tirelessly to establish new relationships and help get Cloakcoin in the spotlight. I attended all relevant conferences, took part in every networking event and got close to some really influential people in the crypto space. I formed some great friendships with inspiring people. There are so many, but there's a few I would like to give a shout out to. Uh, first up, we got Victor Christensen from Denmark, who is the founder and CEO of SecPoint an established uh, cybersecurity firm. And we've got Yannick Heinz from Germany, a successful blockchain entrepreneur, founder of Chain Salting and talented cyber forensic and developer. And then finally, Igor Parok, who I met uh, originally when I was interviewed by him for the iTuber channel. I was also very delighted to sit down for a meeting with Ledger uh, spent time discussing Cloak uh, with their integrations engineer, Jean, and the delightful Evie. Uh, thanks for the t-shirt and <laughs> for coming dancing. Uh, looking forward to working together more in future. I also had the pleasure of spending some time with the infamous John McAfee and his wife Janice, uh, where I learned John has a deep love for Aboriginal and Australian culture and counts the didgeridoo as his favourite instrument, which was a delight to hear. Uh, a boat trip with Omar from Crypto's News and his lovely partner Elle was an absolute joy. They're both awesome and I really appreciate them having me on their YouTube channel to share Cloak with almost 120,000 subscribers. 
And finally, uh, much to my delight, I got to hang out with Laurie Penny. She's a very well-known journalist, anarchist and feminist. She was on board writing for Breaker, a new publication from Wired magazine. And we sat down for an interview and I'm proud to say I've made a new friend and look forward to keeping in touch uh, in future. Uh, there are so many others that I met and spent quality time with, but don't want to risk sounding like a name dropper. So just make sure you head over to cloakcoin.com and follow us on all the social media and join our Telegram group to get all the detailed stories. Uh, we share plenty of our adventures as they take place directly with our community. So back to the Cloakcoin team and in particular Portugal where we're so happy to have ex-slave on board. He is our awesome Portuguese speaking coordinator who's also taking care of our Brazilian and Portuguese community. He's hit the ground running and on top of doing translations and general community duties, he has already attended one event in Portugal. Uh, plenty more to come from ex-slave in future. On behalf of Cloakcoin, we'd all like to extend our warmest welcome, mate. Uh, Ex-Slave is also in contact with a Brazilian representative for Cloakcoin who will attend a couple of major events in the coming days and Ex-Slave will manage a lot of things for the Brazilian market which we see as an exciting opportunity. Uh, while we're on the topic of coordinators, our coordinator program has started with an incredible response. We have received so many applications and are working hard to select the best applicants for interviews. Uh, as mentioned earlier, we will also have a developer program up and running soon. Uh, so we look forward to expanding our wonderful team and ramping up the work behind the scenes. So our Italian coordinator, Emmanuel, has been busy uh, since joining the team, working hard to show the strength of the Italian crypto market. Uh, he's been busy with translations, building out a list of businesses to approach, uh, scheduling and events to attend, making contact with influencers, and has created a telegram group for the Italian speakers. So great stuff from you, Emmanuel. Keep up the fantastic work. Now over to Igor, our Russian speaking coordinator, who since day one has been extremely organized. I love how well he is planning out his work and executing it so quickly. Uh, we managed to take some of his great planning ideas and implement an extensive Trello board to ensure all the coordinators can easily plan work and collaborate on projects. So Igor has been compiling many useful documents and promotional materials in Russian, uh, planning for upcoming events, uh, set up my interview with Igor Parok from iTuber, and has attended several meetings to negotiate new platform integrations. Awesome job, Igor. Really excited to see your ongoing progress. Uh, while we're on the subject of new team members, I'm pleased to announce that we now have Steve Chu on board as a supporter and translator for the Chinese market. So welcome, Steve. I look forward to meeting you. I'm really excited about our future prospects in China. Uh, I've actually been working closely with some awesome companies in Sydney who are deeply involved in the Chinese space, so I'm sure we'll have some great discussions uh, in the near future. Uh, further translations of our promo video are now in progress, including Italian, Portuguese, Greek, Polish and Arabic. Our website is also available in Greek now. This is a very interesting market and we're looking forward to increasing our activity in Greece. Uh, if you'd like to show your support for Cloakcoin, please stop by our website, select your chosen language and share our promo video with your friends and family. For those that are interested in gaining a deeper understanding of privacy, we will create playlists that will keep track of all the interviews that myself and the team take part in. So that wraps up the second episode of Around the Cloak. And as always, it is an honor to be here sharing updates with our beloved community. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. And we're also proud of you, even uh, because after a long bear market, our uh, community is the strongest and most engaged we've ever seen. 
Uh, so this month, I actually want to give a special mention to Simon, Kim J, and Chile Miner. Thanks for all of the deep insight and inspiration you provide to all cloakers. Uh, to find out more, please head to cloakcoin.com and be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to help, help us reach more people. I'll see you all in the next video and remember, pay with Cloakcoin, not your privacy.